Hello, how y'all doing this evening? This is Kay. So Miss Kay trying out these noodles. And I'm listening to 100.9 in the background. That's Kurt Franklin talking about the little incident happened between him and his son. Which I no comment. You don't judge nobody. But kids will take you there. But see, look. These some of them spicy noodles I'm telling y'all about. So I cooked them. Out. I cooked them. Pour the water in there, put them back in the microwave. Now I think you put this seasoning on here. Come with the little instructions. I ate a um chicken sandwich. Oh, that's a lot. I don't know about oh my goodness. Yeah, that's a lot. Look. You can also follow me on Is that I ain't made a video in so long. We're going to see how this do. It ain't going to be long. My sister and I'm called. They get ready to go out to Chili's to eat. My daddy want to take everybody out to eat. But I had took me a, a, a bath. Like, got in the tub. You know, one of those lavender. I'm going to show y'all that lavender stuff I got from Roses. Some Epsom salt. And it's looking a little gray and it's windy out there. And to be on the safe side, I don't think Miss K need to be going out. But I told them, you know, they couldn't stop by. Because my sister leaving tomorrow. I know I should have went, y'all, but I don't want to get sick. And I talked to her on the phone. And I got to spend time with her, so. It's all good. It ain't mixing too good. I'm about to put some more water in I just wanted to say hello, and I hope y'all enjoying y'all evening. I just cut the radio on, and I'm going to look at the news. I don't even know what time it is. Okay, y'all. There ain't got enough juice in there. I'm going to put a little bit of uh, Texas Pete in there. Give it some kind of little juice or something. Mm. I put enough water in it. I'm going to want these. Okay. Let me give it another little spin. I like trying stuff. I had one, but it was another flavor, and I mean, it was hot. That it was. They got 28 more seconds on there. How y'all doing today? As y'all see, Miss K got on her pajamas. Uh, y'all make sure y'all go to my community page. I have Natural Way of Cody on there. And I also have Time with Tiffy. I didn't know, you know, that was my first time ever being in a Cody's live with the the uh the Bible uh question study game. Y'all, that is fun. And I actually took notes and I learned some things. And she did two sets of five questions. <laughs> I got Four right on the first one, one wrong. And then I got two wrong, I believe, on that second one. So, it give you the answer. And then you write it down. So, y'all go check that out on the community the community page. And I believe uh, a Cody do it on Mondays. And I happened to, I was off today, y'all. But I went to work, so I wound up working a few hours and then I left. So, that was a blessing. I got to do something prosperous on my day off. And then I learned something. I sure did. In that live, in both of them lives. Okay, so y'all make sure y'all go to my community page and check it out. Okay, let's come on. I wonder if I should get me something to drink. Yeah, I better. Because this is spicy. And, uh, I don't know yet. I started to go live, but I said, nah, I ain't interrupting nobody's day to day. Word. Give you the word, 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 and that's the word. Who's that, Dr. Phil, coming on or going off? What time is it? Oh, it might be time for that news. Let me cut this radio down. Yep, it's going off. 
Yeah, we're going to listen to the news. But it's what Miss K going to do. Listen to the news and I'm going to get me something to drink. Okay, what do I want? Let me get some of this up. Let me talk about that vaccination. Let me move my Bible out the way. I should have went live. But this might have been born to you. Okay, where we at? Oh, it's, it's recording different. It don't look like it's live. I can't see as much. Yeah, you right. I can't. Okay. Twenty five degrees temperature drop, and it's looking it's looking it's looking gray. That's all right, I think, right there. They talk about rain after midnight tonight. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Oh, this is the stuff I was telling y'all about that I use. Ooh, y'all, I soaked in that too. Teal's Pure Epsom Salt. And it's called Soothe and Sleep with Lavender. I put a whole cup in there. God is great. God is good. Let us thank him for this food. By our heads, we all our feet. Give us what our daily bread. I mean. So dry. Oh, I need to put something on here, y'all. I might put some barbecue sauce, melt some cheese on it or something. I could drop y'all down. Yeah. I don't know about these, y'all. Look at them. And I ate already. I just want to put something else on my stomach because I'm about to crash and put bit. Elementary students are already going to school in person under Plan A. Four days. I know y'all. And middle high school students. What about a little Velveeta cheese? The law the governor signed last week for Let me see what I got in there. I got some. For Plan A or Plan B for grade six. Mm hmm. But can't opt mm -mm. for Plan A. So that's an option we quickly come out. We're going to do something to that. Come on. Plan A for grade six through 12 will be required to notify the state health department and the school district about the school. Oh. These ain't hot as the other ones. Now the other ones, y'all. Woo, woo, barbecue. They were hot. Okay, let's see. What can I put in here? Okay. I said I won't go eat no cheese after eating that macaroni and cheese, but uh. So we're gonna try some salsa in there. Let me take a peek at it. Yeah, look alright. A little bit there in there. Come on now. Oh yeah. And then throw that piece of cheese up on there. And let's see what it do. Let's see. When we come out of there, put a little bit of parmesan. Now that might that might loosen it up. I mean, you know, some <laughs> they dry. Got a good little flavor to it. What flavor was those? Spicy chicken or something? Yep, spicy chicken. It's pretty good. Just need something on there. Yeah, I made a couple hours today. That was all right. Now I gotta work Saturday. I'm on six days, so she said, all right, Miss K, you going to be able to do it? I can get you off another day. I said, nah, I'll make it. I'll be off Sunday. And uh, that's that. You can go back here and look up those scriptures maybe and uh, read about that. A couple of questions that I missed.
It's amazing. I like you know some people can teach, and it, and I and I think they did amazing. Cause I mean I stuck and I was interested, and it was like story time. And, it was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, y'all believe that was the ticket. Mm-hmm. Made that cheese. That cheese melted some. Then, uh-uh. Let me get it again. Oh, yeah, that's going to be the ticket. Mm-hmm. We're going to go sit over here. I just been in a cool mood all day today. Just cool. Uh, somebody at work said, Miss K, uh, why are you so quiet? I said, I don't know. You know, and I and I think it's a good quiet. No worries. I just think about Jesus a lot and everything that's going on and whether it be good or bad. And you know, I'm just cool today. I'm cool. Let's see what the cheese did. Okay. Still got a little chunk in there. It's right there. I might take that out. Oh, there you go. There you go. It's disappearing. Now we're talking. Mm. And these are Murana. Marachana. Marachana. Noodles. Coming to this. They come in this tray. With two packs of, in it, you put the one pack in, cover it back up, put it in there. You know, I ain't big on microwave stuff, but you know, I, I had got this in case of emergency. You know, you run out of stuff and you don't. But I said, you know, I don't want to cook no whole meal. You know, I got to lighten up, y'all. Summertime, springtime is in. Ooh, this thing hot. Let me run it over here. Yeah. I'm slow rolling. I should have went live, y'all. But it feels so good. You know, I can just do it like this sometimes. That look pretty good, don't it? Y'all look it. <laughs> uh oh, I got some noodles on the table. Mm. I'm going to put it on in there. It's my table. I wiped it off. Don't do that at home. <laughs> Unless you went on. <laughs> okay. I might have to put. Okay, go back. Breaking news tonight in the tragic death of a 15-year-old boy in Richmond County. A man is facing the death penalty. Oh, bless us. Give me some of my sins. It looks like it's going in and out. All right, y'all, here you go. That's with the cheese and the peso salsa and some Parmesan cheese. Let's see. It still it don't got dry. Mm. Mm. Oh. That's pretty good, y'all. I ain't gonna eat it all. I already see it. I usually don't listen to the news, but the didn't allow us to once in the blue. Now I'm about to go back here and look at videos. I've been looking at videos ever since I've been home. After I got to it. Mm. I should have went live. But I don't pay his 10 minutes. Bless the Lord. A 25 degrees temperature change, honey. You, I wouldn't be surprised if it snowed tomorrow. The way this weather going in this world. Mm. Oh. I guess this is a spicy chicken noodle mukbang. It's getting there now. Mm. 
expected to be in court later this summer as the process of a death penalty case begins. This is an important time to take a moment to remind everyone there is help out there. Here's the number for the National Child Abuse Hotline, 1-800-4-A-CHILD. The staff there is available for you to call or text at all hours of the day. Mecklenburg County Courts are getting back to work. A new court order says small claims court and jury trials can begin again. The county will I'm full. Court hearings until the end of April. Plus, yeah, I have already ate. I need just something to top it off. To get through after COVID shutdown. Mm. But it's good. Oh, I can't do this. Oh, my. Don't eat no more. Don't eat no more. Just a little bit. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. This was good. Like, County, like I said, I added salsa. Add peso. Pake a paco. Somebody. And some hot sauce and some Velveeta cheese. And, and Parmesan. Mm. Three people were killed and two they keep calling me, y'all. What? Three people. Two. Oh, boy. Death, 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 death. It got to go. Mm -mm. Excuse me, y'all. It'd be too much on there. Let me tell you something good. That blow my neck out. Listening to all that. See, that's why I can't listen to the news. Please, phone don't be dead. Okay. Hmm. This ain't my music in the background. But Jesus, I had to put something on. I have no claims or no rights. Yeah, I don't got sleepy. That did it right there. I thought I was going to have to take me two Tylenol, not two Tylenol, two Elite PMs and go to sleep. I ain't going to have to. But this is a little too early. I'm going to try to hang on in there for a little bit. The Daily Bread came out of First John today. Rest in righteousness. Men are sinners by nature and action. All of us have sinned and all of us will sin. God is holy. He does not sin, cannot look upon it. And it is this that separates us from him. This is the fundamental difference between humans and God. God showed us mercy. However, by sending his only son, Jesus Christ, to live and die in sin for us, as the verse says, Jesus, who knew no sin, was brought to the world so that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. It is a lot of pressure, no doubt, that we must bear the reminder of our lives. Compared to the pressure that Jesus felt, it is nothing. Jesus was holy, completely de devoid of sin. Made to be a sinner by his father so that we might be saved. God would have been entirely within his right to leave us to our sinful ways. But it is out of his mercy and love that he entered a covenant with Christians. He has provided us a way to, to salvation if we keep the covenant of his works. This is what the entire Bible discusses, the covenant and the prophecy that begins in Genesis and ends in Revelations. Come on, talk to me right now. Jesus has shown us the way, has humbled himself so that we may 
be made whole with God. Perhaps my favorite example is from Matthew 3, 13 through 15. Then come of Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. But God forbade him saying, I have need to be baptized of thee and comest thou to me. And Jesus answered, said unto him, suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he, he suffered him. John the Baptist knows that he is not worthy of being baptized by Christ. Jesus humbles him, showing us all how to treat one another as God would want. Hallelujah. We truly are not worth of God's mercy and love. We are sinners responsible even for the death of God's only son. Through God, however, we have our chance at redemption. We have a chance to rest in his righteousness, to be made whole with him once again. The choice is ours. Thanks be to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Well, y'all, I just wanted to say hey. And I'm still cooling. Lot on my mind. The good, good, all of it, good, good, everything. I just feel so comfortable and relaxed. And God was pleased today about several things. Mm, 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 mm. Woo! That was hot. Ooh, now that might have been some of that seasoning right there. Ooh. Okay, now y'all have a blessed day. This big old thing wasn't nothing but a dollar and 88 cent. Look at that. Big old jug of Hawaiian punch. Now y'all have a blessed day. Know that Kay loves you and God loves you more. I just wanted to come on here and say, hey, and see if I still knew how to do this. I ain't did it in so long. And I guess that turned out to be okay, huh? Hope you enjoyed the story. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful night. Sleep good. Pray. Listen to some prayers. Get Listen to that prayer meditation, sleep music, and just get you some rest. And let's pray that God wake us up in the morning. Y'all have a blessed day. Bye now. Whoosh.